Kieran, thanks for talking to us. Before we summarise the season as a whole, how about how about that for a finish? Yeah, nice way to finish. Um, really good game. Support was absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, a credit to the club and the sports should be so proud of themselves. Um, players have played themselves really well. Good performance. Obviously, getting the early goal yeah. helps. Something that we haven't always done, and we uh, we never looked back from there. Were you pleased with the calibre of the goals as well? Really good goals, yeah. Mm. And we, we could have had some more. Um, but yeah, really good goals. Probably the, the first goal was the first time that we've, we've scored probably a, a worldie in a while which sometimes you do them over the course of a year so great strike by Ty but we've been certainly due one one of those um, that sometimes just get you off uh, off and running and, and once we were off and running then I said the quality of our play and our, our movements and all the things we work on were really good and defensively the attitude was really good pressure was good and um, yeah we had a few scary moments when they were loading up our box but yeah. Uh, in general really good performance Were you, Did you speak about the fast start because as you say once you got that it was a case of never looking back Yeah we've had it so often to be honest I mm. think um, we've had it so often in, in games in home games in the Portsmouth game here the, the Plymouth game the Wigan game we've had it so often and um, you know in them moments it's really important that you can get the goal if you can and uh, yeah today we managed to get it and then obviously get the second in pretty close succession and you're you're really off and running and then the pressure is on them to come out and try and chase you a little bit, leave more spaces and obviously that's something that we enjoy. So, um, yeah, we wanted the fast start. We wanted to, you know, give the crowd a really entertaining game but we try that every week. Yeah. It's sometimes that's up to the opposition. Charlton, to be fair, came here to give us a football match and that's not been the case a lot of times against teams we've come up against and, you know, it takes two to tango and um, we're up for the tango every week but... The opposition aren't always, and, and that's obviously their right. So, um, yeah, we uh, yeah we enjoy the game, enjoy the way to finish. But I think we all know the hard work starts now. I just want to ask you about at, at two 0 It was a great save from uh, Christian, wasn't it? I think Stockley's header. Are they the moments that you know can then kick on from there? Are, are they the moments that make Christian such a good keeper? Yeah, yeah, good save. I'd, I'd expect him to save that one with a yeah. calibre of a goalkeeper. I think he's in, in great form. I mm. think he's improving all the time. He's got his, his best years ahead of him, I think, if he keeps going the way he is. Um, so, yeah, it was it was a big save. We looked at that moment at half-time because it sort of summed up, you know, what can happen against um, teams like this. And, and in this league, we're in complete control. Yeah. Um, one sloppy pass, give him a throw-in. They take the throw-in. We don't do everything we can to keep it out of the box. And they put it in the box and head it on target. So... We showed it to the players at half time and said these these we have to sense these moments more every time a team can put your ball in the box something can happen so we need to keep it away from our goal as, as often as we can and be as alert as we can in our defending and we managed to do that for most of the game away from uh, you know looking forward and things like that I just want to ask you about Tyreek's time at the club and again today an absolutely stunning performance yeah I've said it for a while I think he's he's been getting better and better every mm. week um, took him a little while to get up to speed of how we play and how we train. Then he had to adjust to a new role because um, he wasn't so accustomed to playing as a, such a deep midfielder where Lee Evans had been playing for us. So again, had to adjust to that a little bit. But I think he's got better about game by game. He's got a really good understanding now of all of our pictures and all of our patterns and where we want the ball to go in different times. Yeah. And he's getting better physically and um, more intense on the off-the-ball stuff. So um, great goal. I think he's got that in his locker. I say he's probably due one, we were due one. And I'm pleased for him that he could get that goal before the season finishes. You've already mentioned the supporters and, and the game as a whole, but how about the lap of appreciation as well? That looked like some really good moments with the, the club and the supporters. Yeah, special, special. We just spoke about it when we got back inside and said, look, it's, that's certainly not to do with the club's league position. Um, I think it's a reflection on the, the positivity around the club, the, the vision of the club and where it's trying to get to. I think it's a reflection on a lot of the performances over the last four months, which have been at a really high level and, and should have picked up more points than they have. I think the supporters are um, they're getting a good understanding of how we want to play. They're enjoying the playing style and seeing us being dominant and yeah. playing like a, an Ipswich Town team and playing like a big club. And they're really getting behind that. And I just said to the players, look, we, we can't take that pre- that that support for granted but mm. imagine what it would be like if we're in a different position in a year's time and that's yeah. the, the dream that we all have to get behind and we all have to work behind because again if that's the support at the moment for for a season that ultimately hasn't been uh, a success in terms of points on the board then um, yeah what what can this club do if we if we um, improve things and get to a better position finally this is probably a very hard question to summarise it in one but What's your assessment on the season as a whole and, of course, since you arrived in December? Yeah, it's probably hard to, to summarise in one. I, say yeah. I, can't, I can't speak for 
what went on before I arrived. Um, obviously, it was a, a season of big expectations that haven't been fulfilled. So um, I think I said it yesterday. That's a big learning curve, and we got to take the lessons from the season um, as a whole club, yeah. and uh, and swallow those and look to look to keep improving things going forward. Um, the last few months, I think, in general, the intensity, attitude and quality of, of the majority of performances have been on a really high level yeah. statistically we're up there with anyone in the league as, as one of the, the best teams in the league and most of the key markers um, but for different reasons we haven't always managed to turn enough of those performances into wins and we have a really good idea of the areas that we need to improve on to do that and that will be a big focus now for the summer